Hey everyone, it's Leviathan here again. This here is my intro video to explain to you guys what I normally talk about for my videos that I make from this point on to help you guys out. My Leviathan universe is very prodigious. I have 15,000 plus characters and creatures that are accounted for as compared to the infinite number in this infinite onion of a multiverse. The five main heroes are notably the five most focused characters in my Leviathan universe. There's Madame Shear, founder and owner of Blader Tech Industries. There's Dentrini, who's the biological granddaughter of Satana, founder and ruler of Tartarus. And she herself is also um, the director of the Paranormal Defense. Pym is a Lunarian, which is an alien species that's currently endangered after their home star exploded. Um, Colossa is the, uh, the granddaughter of Goddess, who is the founder and leader of the Alpha Gods and creator of the Cosmos. Colossa herself has infinite growing capacity, can shoot nuclear beams from her hands, can break the fourth wall and other powers. And Kyjericus is Queen of the Mutants who's basically a woman who was mutated into a giant reptilian kaiju woman, who now protects people from kaiju-based threats. I have all of this elaborate information I could, could tell you and such, because they are all really impressive, and I really recommend that you gotta check these stuff out, because it, it will blow you away, and you know who Stanley is? Stan Lee, the guy who created Spider-Man, the Fantastic Four, the X-Men, the Avengers, and all that stuff. I am planning to be as blessed as he was. And I really hope that this is the right reality. And if you guys want, I really hope that I could be able to succeed with my creations. Yeah, so basically it's really impressive stuff, and I made all of them, and I have to make it up to them. You know, because I made them exist, and I have to make it worth it for them. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. And I hope you guys have a decent understanding. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Enjoy. Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. To start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did. Today I'm going to introduce three characters, and I hope it's worth it for you guys. Here's the first character. Aphrodite. Real name, April Love. Height, 5 feet 11.5 inches. Weight, 182 pounds. Status, hero, and goddess of love and beauty. Base, Asgolympius, recent. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior. Witty, flirtatious, and seductive. She rarely gets angry. Lethality. Highly deadly even when she's not fighting. Weaknesses. Misogyny. Which is the only thing that could anger her. Powers. She's so gorgeous that everyone finds her irresistible. She also has martial arts, uncanny reasoning skills, and later gained immortality. Eyes, sky blue, hair, golden, and luscious. Origin. One time, there was a man who had an abusive spouse. Wife. One night, he prayed to Goddess for some way to have his wife love him again. And she gave him a love potion to give his spouse to drink. Thus, she stopped being abusive to him. However, she drank the potion when two months pregnant. When their daughter was born, they named her April, and by adulthood, April was so gorgeous that the Alpha Gods took her to Asgolympias to become a new member of the team. Soon, they told her to stop a Smithsonian robbery in Washington, D.C., and the thieves were so speechless of her that she made them shoot themselves for the promise of a kiss. Renamed as Aphrodite, she is now a member of the Alpha Gods, becoming the goddess of love and beauty. Costume. She wears a Greek toga, 
or simply just whatever she feels like wearing. Tame, solitary, with the Alpha Gods or other heroes, Virgil Inspiration, Aphrodite of Greek Mythology. Here's the next character. Atom Girl. Real name, Lexi Queens. Height, microscopic to vast. Weight, nothing to vast. Status, hero and daughter of Pixie and Microbe Man. Base, New York City, mobile. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior, witty, sneaky, and willful. She'll do anything to protect all innocents from most dangers that come her way. Lethality, extremely deadly, no matter how big she is. Weaknesses, she has an occasional lack of awareness. Powers, she has the ability to alter her mass from microscopic size to as big as a galaxy. Regardless of size, she has enough strength to lift New York miles into the air while microscopic and one-handed. She also has flight, martial arts, and can alter the volume and pitch in her voice so that normal-sized people can hear her. Eyes, vivid green. Hair, strawberry blonde. Origin. At one point, Pixie and Microbe Man had a daughter they ended up naming Lexi, but she hadn't gained her abilities until adolescence, when she developed mass alteration and other powers. One day, Lexi learned that her parents were devoured by the bloated Kaiju Foxzilla. After defeating Foxzilla in a fight, which is by the way, Foxzilla is simply that, a bloated Kaiju from the planet Earth Oligon, Foxzilla changed back to normal after she was defeated, while Atom Girl traveled inside her, saving her parents from getting digested. Since then, Lexi was rewarded by her parents for becoming a hero, joining them and others whenever it's needed. I severely apologize if there's any confusion. Uh, I'm sorry. Costume. She wears a green and black latex suit with a red candle A on the chest designed to change with her. Team Solitary or with other heroes of inspiration, DC's Adam. Here's the last character, and I hope I don't stumble or anything. Marriage. Real name, Margaret White. Height, 6 feet 6 inches to vast, weight 210 pounds to vast. Status, anti-hero and goddess of marriage. Base, Asgolympius. Recent. Intelligence, 3 brains to five brains and a plus. Behavior. Witty and willful. She'll do anything to end all misogyny. Lethality. Extremely deadly to those who violate equality. Weaknesses. Misogyny and being rivaled. Powers. She has immortality, semi-cosmic powers, mass alteration, and an iron will. She also has uncanny reasoning skills. Eyes. Brownish green. Hair. Tannish black. And chin length. Origin. Margaret White was an average woman who planned on marrying the supposed man of her dreams. However, on the day of the wedding, a gunman killed her with a shot to the head. And when she was transported to Asgolympius, Goddess, who is the founder and leader of the Alpha Gods, explained to Margaret that her fiancé paid the man to kill her and was arrested for it. To do her a favor, Goddess infused Margaret with semi-cosmic powers, renamed to Marriage. She saved the default Earth when a space princess that is, like, uh, four million feet tall, named Princess Chang, was brainwashed by Cosmic, the, uh, kick the master of the universal dimensions. Since then, marriage was marked as the goddess of marriage and became the one in charge of sealing all innocent weddings in the cosmos. Costume? She mainly wears a white wedding dress, team solitary, or with the Alpha Gods, or to inspiration, marriage. I severely apologize for stumbling so much on Adam Girl. I wasn't thinking straight, and I've been trying my best to uh, impress you guys and such, because I now, last I checked, have 80 subscribers. And 7.5k views, so over 7,500 views. Yeah, I also hope you guys were impressed at all with the ARC video that I made um, 
two days ago. I tried my best to try some variety for you guys. So I apologize if it would ever be perceived as a dud. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. Hope you guys have a fine rest of the month and such, and until next time, in transmission.